William Cooper was 32 years old when he met Jesus, and he met him in what we would consider to be a very unlikely place. He met Jesus in an asylum not long after he tried to commit suicide for the third time. Born in 1731, his father was the chaplain to King George II and was intent on raising William to be a religious man. As it were, William thought he knew God, but God had never meant much to him. William's mother died when he was six years old and his father sent him off to boarding school. It was hard for William to be in this new place and what started out as an older boy bullying him quickly turned into abuse. From that time on, a deep darkness haunted William. William was never a stranger to inner turmoil, suffering, pain, and depression. As a young man, he fell in love with a woman and dated her for years. They planned to marry, but in the end, her father forbade the marriage. Cooper found comfort in his poetry and was quite successful. He had everything that the world could offer. A best-selling publication, a book review of his writings by Benjamin Franklin. He was known internationally, but none of this held meaning for him. Not only had William lost his mother at an early age, but also his father when William was 25, followed by his brother, the only other surviving child in a family of seven and with whom he was very close. Then a second romance also failed and William's darkness deepened and he attempted suicide several times. He would never marry. His doctor, Nathaniel Cotton, happened to be a Christian and would share the scriptures with him. In July 1764, Cooper was sitting in a garden at the asylum reading the Epistle to the Romans. When he came to chapter 3, he was impressed by these words, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation for His blood to be received by faith. The words of Paul's letter to the Romans were deeply impressed on his heart. Cooper wrote immediately, I received the strength to believe it, and the full beams of the sun of righteousness shone upon me. I saw the sufficiency of the atonement Jesus had made, my pardon sealed in his blood, and all the fullness and completeness of his justification. Although William met Jesus in the asylum, he never did have what we would consider the perfect Christian life. He continued to struggle with loneliness and depression all the days of his life. But despite the pain, his hope still remained in the gospel. He wrote the following in one of his darkest hours, The dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day, and there may I, though vile as he, wash all my sins away. Loneliness, loss, and despair were not the final words for William Cooper. As he wrote his best-known hymn, There is a fountain filled with blood, Redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die. Has been my theme. Hey.